The Minneapolis police chief took a knee as the hearse bearing George Floyd passed. A bow of respect for the man whose death at the hands of his officers launched a national movement. Amazing grace. Inside a Minneapolis memorial service, George Floyd was remembered as a family man, a gentle giant who adored his six-year-old daughter, Gianna, now fatherless. It's crazy, man. All these people came to see my brother, and that's amazing to me that he touched so many people's hearts. He was also remembered as the spark that set off often fiery protests in more than a dozen cities across the U.S., a movement the Reverend Al Sharpton urged mourners throughout the country to continue. It's time for us to stand up in George's name and say, get your knee off our necks. This crowd of hundreds of people didn't come with invitations. They came to pay their respects to George Floyd. And there's such a demand to do so that there will be multiple memorial services, one in his state of birth, North Carolina, on Saturday, another in his former hometown of Houston on Monday, and then a funeral on Tuesday. As the memorial took place, a key demand of the Floyd family was fulfilled. Three of the police officers who detained Floyd in his final moments faced hearings for new charges of aiding and abetting second-degree murder. The fourth officer, Derek Chauvin, who knelt on Floyd's neck, saw the charges against him elevated from third-degree murder to second-degree, a charge that suggests the killing of Floyd was intentional. But for those mourning the 46-year-old man, the charges mark just the beginning. My brother's gone, but the Floyd name still lives on. As Floyd's family prepares to take him from his adopted home city for the last time, the demonstrations that began when he uttered his final words, I can't breathe, continue. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Minneapolis.